Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can install the simplest way to install a waybar config like this one. So instead of having to write an entire config yourself, I'll just show how you can get dot files from GitHub and apply them to your own machine. Now, before we get started, just a quick announcement. Make sure to hit the subscribe button for more content like this in your feed and check out the top link in the description to order a rice tailor made for you. Now with that, let's begin. Okay, so in a text file that I have in the first workspace over here, I have described all the steps that are going to be required to get this bar up and running. As you can see, we have four of them. First, we clone this config, we clone my config. Then we install something known as Pywall, a program called Pywall, which extracts colors from your wallpaper depending on what wallpaper is set and stores them in a file to be used for other programs then we have install fonts okay so these two are the fonts that we're going to need radio canada big and jetbrains mono nerd font for the bar over here then just apply the config and this to basically give you the functionality to reload the bar in case you make any changes we're gonna have to modify your hyperland config and this is provided that you're running this bar and this configuration on hyperland okay so first let's clone the config let's make a temporary directory over here temp uh, git clone https whoops okay github 1090x dot files dash b any branch but the branch which has this exact bar is the latest one which is vapor wave okay so while that is happening let's go to where it's saved so tunar let's go to the dot config scroll down over here and we should see here we go so this is my waybar config the current one apart from the current one i also have a few more but those are just backups so the one that's okay we've cloned it now just for sake of demonstration i'll rename this to again dot back and i'll show you how you can copy it so cd dot files ls cd dot config okay now here we see the waybar config copy it recursively dash r stands for recursive so that means copy the folder and everything in it to the destination which is home dot config once you copy that and go to home config and you should see this okay now Yes, some things are broken over here, but that's probably because, yes, because there are two files in here. There's a config and a, there's a config.json-c. We need the json-c, we don't need the original file, so just get rid of the original one and that should fix it. Now, it's highly unlikely that your bar is also going to look like this, which is why we have to get pywall up and running. So to do that, ordinarily you would do ipython pywall if you're on Arch. So if you just look that up in the repositories, yes, this is what you should install and that should work. But in some cases, like in mine, that doesn't work. And so you have to install a fork of pywall called pywall 16 colors. Pywall, pywall. 16 colors and besides instead of yeah instead of installing python pywall the vanilla version if we get the 16 colors one not well not only do we have more colors we also get temp more templates for more programs so we have a template uh, dot I think it's tomal or yaml 
either one of those a template for alacrity and for a few other applications that you don't get with the ordinary one so make sure to install pywall 16 colors if you guys need help on this just refer to a video i've made earlier i'll just link it as a card somewhere here and that needs to be done to install pywall next up we install the fonts radio canada big and jetbrains mono nerd font for the second one the second font you can just install it with JetBrains. Jet Here, TTF JetBrains Mono Nerd. That should get us this font. Now, for Radio Canada Big, it's a Google font. So if you go into fonts.google.com, you should find it right here. Canada Big. Okay, here we go. Just click on Get Font download all and you will get radio canada big dot zip just save that once you save that you're going to extract it hold up let's download it again save okay cd downloads or just unzip Let's copy it here. Downloads. What was that? Mm. Yes. Radio Canada Big. Unzip it. Whoops. Okay. Now, instead of copying each of these TTF files to the specific location, we can just use the variable font. Variable font is sort of it, it, the thing is it has it in the name variable font weight so all the different weights of a given font are stored in one font all the data for that weight is stored in this single ttf file so instead of having to juggle around many different ones like regular medium semi bold you have them all stored here okay so the way that i store fonts or that the wiki describes storing fonts is creating a directory in user local share fonts ttf and whatever ttf files you have over here so i've already made a directory called radio canada big and i have moved the specific ttf file there so if we list this out we'll find two variable font and the italic version of that font all you have to do is just copy these two files there and you should have installed the fonts after that you just apply the config which we have done here yeah if you've gotten to this point and you fix the fonts you should be good to go but basically applying the config is a sort of mixed step with the fourth one which is to modify your key bindings so let's do that config hyper land hyper i here bind star conf now you scroll down over here mod r r yes execing this launch script so what the launch script does is basically every single time it's called it kills waybar and starts it again in the background config waybar scripts launch dot sh yeah it just kills waybar and starts it in the background that works it's simple enough to reload the bar every time you make a change so every single time i press the mod key and r just kills it restarts it and this is what we see and that's it that is pretty much it if you want to delve into the config all you have to do is just go into json config.json c here you can see every module that i have set up all the icons and everything and for the styles it's in style.css these are all the styles and that's pretty much it guys if you enjoyed the video subscribe if you liked it like and i guess that's it if you all have any more questions let me know in the comments i'll try my best to help you out and see ya
Peace.